girls and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to review this Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Stop Blow Dryer and Volumizer. And I'll be comparing it to its dupe. And on my next video, I'll be posting my tips and tricks on how to use this tool. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel, you like this video, and you hit that notification bell so you'll be updated once that video is up. So on my right side, I use the Revlon Pro Collection. And then on my left side, I use its dupe. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use a heat protection spray. This is my favorite. This is the L'Oreal Elnet Satin. I don't know if this still exists, but this is my favorite to use on my hair because it gives a little volume. So I'm going to use the Revlon on my right side and the dupe on my left. Let's try. Okay, now that I've tested the intensity of the Revlon um, volumizing brush, I think that I'm just gonna go with the low setting because the high setting, oh God, it's super loud, super high and it really blows out very hot air. So I'm gonna stay with the light. Okay, so first impression, I like that it really grips my hair. Like when I'm blow drying my hair, none of my hair was flying out of the hair dryer. I used to use this hair dryer before, but the only difference is it's rounder. You can see here that there's plastic bristles here. And then on the sides, there's more bristles that are shorter than the plastic bristles. I find that that really helps in gripping the hair because when I had the brush that has all more bristles and rounder. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna show you later. I find that that doesn't really grip the hair very well and some of the hair would fly out of the brush. But this one, look, and it's really silky. It's very silky and really soft to the touch. I think it's because it's really gripping all of the hair. So I'm going to continue. Let's try the high setting. With the high setting, I can see that it has more volume. But be very careful because it blows really hot air and my ear actually is very warm as of the moment. So be very careful with it. I think I'm just gonna stay with the low. To get the volume, I'm going to brush this away from my face. So this is now the Revlon side. So I'm gonna use the dupe one on the left side. Let's try the low. So that's like the cool setting because it doesn't blow hot air. Let's try the middle. That's the equivalent of low of the Revlon one. But I find that this doesn't heat up as much as the Revlon. The low setting of the Revlon would really would really blow out, not warm, but like hot air even at low, and then blasting hot air on high. This one on middle, it's blowing just warm air, in between hot and warm air, if that makes sense. And now let's try the high setting. High setting is higher than the middle, but again, 
then this is blowing hot air but not as hot as the Revlon one. So let's try it on my hair. So I'm going to use the middle setting. I find that it's still kind of damp. I think I'm going to use the high setting because I think it's going to take a while to dry if I just use the low. So let's use the high. So let's start comparing the two. The first thing that you would notice when you look at it is its color. This one has a brighter pink and this one has a more of like a purple pink. And the Revlon one has a pink side running through the sides on both sides. And then the dupe doesn't have that line on the side. When it comes to the brush bristle, the only difference that I can see is their color. So there's a plastic bristle here, and then there's shorter bore brush bristle on just the side. So this bore bristle really helps on gripping your hair. And both of them has the same structure, just different color. The Revlon one also has a higher top. So this one gives you a better grip while you roll your hair into the brush. But the dupe one has a wider top and a thinner grip. So you can only grip it with your thumb and your pointy. And also when in use, the top of the dupe gets hot. Meanwhile, the top of the Revlon doesn't get hot. So you can really keep your hands in there while rolling. Both of them has four settings. The Revlon one has off, cool, low, and high. And the dupe one has off, low, metal, and high. that the Revlon one really dries the hair quickly even in a low setting. Meanwhile, for the dupe one, it needs to be on a high setting for a quicker dry. And with that being said, the dupe one will give you more of that curvier, more volume hair. Meanwhile, the Revlon one just gives you a medium volume on a low setting. And you can see that my right side looks longer than my left because my left is way curvier than my right, which is the Revlon side. When it comes to silkiness and less frizz, I find that the Revlon one gets silkier faster and this side is silkier than this side. They're both silky, but this is a tad bit silkier and less frizz than my left side. When using both of this, I find that the Revlon one is heavier. This one kind of gives me an arm workout. This one is lighter and easier to maneuver because of its lightness. And lastly, with cost. This Revlon styler costs $69.99 Canadian dollars online. And this one costs $42.99. So that's a $27 price difference. It's actually super hard to decide because both of them has its pros and cons and both of them has its learning curve. And as you can tell from my final results, you can't really see a big, big difference in both of them. I guess I'm just going to leave the choice up to you. What do you guys think? Which one do you like more? Comment down below. And I think in the long run, what my deciding factor would be how it will perform use by you. Like in a month's time, will this be easily broken? The other, I think that will be my biggest deciding factor. So, for, so right now, I'm really undecided on which one I'm leaning on to. I'm going to leave that choice to you guys. So comment down below on the comment section. I hope that you guys learned something from this review and don't forget to click that notification bell, subscribe and like this video if you find this helpful and on my next video I'll be showing you some tips
tips and tricks on how to use this tool to have this salon looking blowout. So I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!